Good evening and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 524 and we are here live in Southwest Florida in my studio tonight. If you are joining me live, please say hello. Let me know if you have any questions. If you would like to uh, ask me to show you anything or whatever you think might work since we're in our studio, I mean, there are certain things we can do at the beach, certain things we can do in the backyard, and other things we can do in the studio. So I do have lots of things handy with me here tonight. Have some sneak peeks to share with you. I'm going to share a secret with you guys tonight. But if you're joining me live, please say hello. Hi, Jill and Joe and Lisa, Christine, Val, Carrie, Christine. Thanks for joining live, everybody. This is my second live stream tonight. If you uh, were joining us earlier, Marlon and I made uh, Pesto Three Ways in Cooking Live with Kristen, episode six, a couple hours ago. Hi, Lisa and Judy and Gay, Carol, Carrie. Thanks for joining live, everybody. Joe saw part of it. Wonderful, thank you. Hi, Pamela and Sherry. Jill got her yarn delivery for me today. Yay! Hi, Lily. Hi, Melanie. Thanks for joining live, everybody. Hi, Holly. Carrie saw the cooking show and loved it. Thank you. I'm so glad. Lisa's going to watch it later. Wonderful. Yeah, it, you know, that's the beauty of YouTube live stream is that uh, once the live stream is over, it gets converted to a recorded video just like the podcast so you can watch it whenever you want. And I did update the recipe page so all of the recipes from tonight's cooking live episode have been updated on the recipe page as well. So all of that is done and the kitchen's not clean yet but uh, I guess I'll get to that when we're done with this podcast. <laughs> Is anybody working on any projects tonight? Jill's working on the Minka cowl. That's this one right here. This is the newest one I've released from 52 Crochet Gifts. Uh, someone else is going to watch the recorded cooking show. Wonderful. That's great. Lisa already got her Minka done. Good. I'm glad to hear that because I know some people were asking how long it took to make. Well, Lisa, you are the um, testimonial that it's a quick project, just like I promised it would be. Hi, Rosalinda. Carrie's working on a brioche hat. That's wonderful. Lisa's working on the Julie hat now. That's this one. Oh, did everybody see that the knit hat Ashley, the one, the silver gray hat with the fur pom faux fur pom-pom, that pattern has been released. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but it is released and you can find it on my website. Did I tell you guys that yet or not? Have I told you about the Ashley pattern yet or not? I can't remember. Yes, Carrie, I did tell it. Christine says no and Carrie says yes. <laughs> okay, well, the pattern's available. If you can't find it, let me know and I will post a link in the video description and in the comments. But uh, you can find it if you go to the single pattern section for PDF patterns on my website. It is there. Uh, it comes in 10 sizes. There are five children's sizes and five adult sizes for the hat. And it takes one ball of Be So Baby yarn and I use color platinum. I also have a link to the resource where I bought the faux fur pom-poms on Amazon. Hi, Terry in the Atlanta airport. Christine, you're tired, me too. <laughs> Hi, Pamela, thanks for joining live. Hi, Judy. All right, so we have 13 patterns released so far for 52 crochet gifts. Week four update has been released. So if you've already pre-ordered the book, you have gotten the email for the, um, with all 13 patterns released so far, the ones we released this week are the Julie hat and the Minka cowl, along with everything else from before that. And so then the Ashley knit hat is new. And what was I going to share with you guys today? Oh, I've been working on 
Black Friday promotion stuff. So let's see. So Thursday, oh, today's Thursday. Thanksgiving's a week from today. So sometime probably around midnight, Thursday night, or first thing Friday morning. I don't know when I'll release it, but when I do, I will send out an email. And if you haven't signed up for my mailing list yet, I recommend you do, because that's how you'll know during that holiday time. That's how you'll know when the, when the sale is live. And for those of you who have been requesting a sample sale, it's possible you will be very excited to see a bunch of garments handmade by me for sale on Black Friday. Now, having said that, there will only be one of everything because I only make one item, right? I make one of everything for the books and the patterns and all that stuff. So you'll want to be on my mailing list because when I send out that email that the sale is live, it will be first come, first serve, and there's only one each of all the sample garments. This is going to be the first time I am selling samples from my uh, independently published books. So there will be sample garments from Motif Magic. There'll be sample garments from 80 Handmade Gifts. There will be sample garments from Layers Crochet, and there will be sample garments from Layers Knit. First time I have ever released sample garments in uh, from my uh, independently published books. So, very excited about that. These will be great gifts to give yourself. They're handmade by me in my yarns, all things that you already love. So whether it's projects that you have made and maybe given them away and wished you would have kept it for yourself, you can have the second sample that way. Or let's say it's a technique or a craft that you don't know how to do, there would be an, but you can appreciate it and love the beauty of it. That would be a reason to buy the samples. If you just want handmade gifts for the holidays and you don't have enough time to make as many handmade gifts as you want, that would be another reason to buy the sample sale. So there's all sorts of reasons to buy the items for yourself or for the people on your list. I'm gonna have tons of shawls and garments and accessories. There's gonna be lots of good stuff. And other things will be there as well, but I'm not gonna talk about what else will be in uh, the Black Friday promotion yet. That's all I'm going to share at this point. I do have two whole bins full of product full of garments. I've got two of these full of garments that are being listed for the Black Friday sale. So lots of stuff. In fact, it took me, it took me almost the entire day today just to, to list the items in my shop and I'm nowhere near done, but uh, it's going to be worth it. I can't wait to share all of it with you. These are handmade by me in my beautiful boutique yarns uh, and they will be sold you know how i do my sample sale they will be sold pretty much below the cost of what pretty at or below the cost of the yarn not including <laughs> the high labor cost of me making it so i mean even it's going to be great and just going to be so worth it uh, will it be like an auction? No, I don't have things set up as an auction on my website. It'll just be first come, first serve. So whoever um, buys it first gets it, and then it'll be sold out. Um, you know what, Connie? I haven't washed the hat with the faux fur pom-pom yet. I haven't. I have not had time to do it yet, but I will soon, I promise. I thought I was going to bring it in here tonight, and I don't have it with me. Hmm. Anyhow. Where do I find time to do everything, Petra wants to know. That is a great question. I am uh, very, very organized. I write lots of lists and I love what I do. So I'm very passionate about just getting it all done and just, but lists is probably one of the secrets to me getting as much done that I get done is by keeping really good lists and checking things off the lists and updating lists and creating other lists. Um, it helps me so much to stay focused. And although I don't take break breaks as often as I 
could or should. I take mini breaks by meditating and going to the gym, which helped me to clear my mind. Oh, well, Judy, I hope my website doesn't crash. That would not be good. <laughs> yes, Lisa, I'm like Santa with lots of lists. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like being compared to Santa. Man, that kid is something else. Marlon loves to scare me. And so the doors, I have glass French doors from my studio to the rest of the house, which is great for soundproofing when I'm doing videos in here. But that kid likes to stand on the other side of the glass and just go, oh. and, and I could see something here while I was talking, but didn't see what it was. So before, <laughs> Yeah, you guys heard him laugh before I did. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Hi, Donna. <laughs> Keeping me on my toes. <laughs> yes, he is a little devil. A little devil in the best way possible, Erica. <sighs> oh, and I have other, ex I have products that you're gonna see on Black Friday that you've never seen before. And there's going to be a little bling bling. That's going to be, that's my, that's my, um, what am I calling it? That's my hint. But I'm not going to say what it is, but you're going to love it. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff. Does anybody have any questions in general? Does anybody have any questions about any of the patterns that have been released? Or, yeah, I love being a tease, Judy. That's the best part. When you work really hard behind the scenes for surprises and announcements, being a tease before it happens is the best part of it. <laughs> oh, Marlon's making music now too. I don't know if you can hear it, but he is. I can hear it very, very faint in the distance. Is there a video on the knit pom-pom hat? Not yet, no. I just released the pattern, I think, yesterday, so not yet. There will be. I do have a creative household, Jill. That is true. Kitties aren't that creative, but Marlon and I both are. <laughs> the kitties are lovers, though. Bjorn and Becker are a couple of lovers. Sweet babies. Yeah, they're creative in their own ways. This is true. They're just so sweet. I can't get over how sweet they are. They never surprise me by how sweet they are. Thanks, Christine. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I can. I have a pattern that I can show you a quick sneak peek of, probably because we already talked about it. This will be one of the new patterns coming very soon for 52 Crochet Gifts. This is one of the bags. This is done in Be So Serene yarn and Be So um, Dazzling yarn. So we've got sections of Be So Serene yarn by itself and then sections of Dazzling and Serene held together. Isn't that beautiful? So we've got Delta Flower bands in between the solid stitch pattern. And then I lined it with this fabric I found on Amazon that is a metallic linen. How gorgeous is that? It has a little bit of bling in it as well. And so I double lined the bag, meaning I did two pieces of the lining. We'll talk more about this when it comes out. But that means you see beautiful seams inside the bag here, but that you, but because you can see the lining from the outside of the bag, we needed to have beautiful seams here as well. So we did a double lining. So when it comes time for this pattern to release, and maybe even on the live stream podcast, I thought it might be fun to do a demo of bringing out my sewing machine and showing you how easy it is to make that double lining to then slide into the purse. And then we add, and look at how beautiful those handles look when you so the handles have, let's see, do I have another set? I do have another set of the handles because I'm gonna put these on another bag. We'll do that for in the video in a video as well. 
So this is for another bag that's coming out in the book. And so you can see that they already have the holes pierced into the bag, but they're only partially pierced from what I found. Notice how you don't see it on the back side. So what I like to do first is take a needle and just go through all of those holes. So I'll, so you poke the needle through the holes and that ends up making it go through all of the leather and you can see that on the back side, maybe not on the camera, but trust me that you have to do that first. And then we sew it with the yarn, but doesn't that look great when it's done? See how beautiful those handles look on there? So the, these are the two different sizes of handles. I bought a smaller size for a smaller bag that I'll be releasing as well. These will be an upcoming um, releases of 52 handmade gifts. Uh, 52 crochet gifts and the handles are available in my Amazon shop. That is right. They come in two different sizes and it's this beautiful rolled leather handle. Can you see that it's rolled and then it has these great little pieces at the bottom for sewing onto the bag with a needle and yarn or needle and thread, whichever you prefer. Just great for a handmade yarn bag. Um, and they come in lots of colors, lots of uh, to the two different sizes and lots of colors. And I have those listed in my Amazon shop already. So if there are other bags that you would like to see that with, um, or bags that you have already that you would like to put those handles on, you can buy them now. Did I put pockets in the bag? I did not put pockets in this bag. Nope, I didn't. But I could certainly show you how to do that when we do the demo for the bag or for the bag lining. In fact, we might even do that. On, I think we'll do it on a live stream because I know lots of people have questions about sewing, especially since we're more predominantly knitters and crocheters here. So I might do the sewing in a live stream. Well, Christine, you can certainly add pockets to yours. Yeah, absolutely. I've done uh, some of the bags in 80 Handmade Gifts book have pockets in them. So if you would like to see tutorials for adding that. Uh, no, I didn't add a loop for keys, but you could certainly add that as well. And you can find, um, you can find sewing patterns in 80 Handmade Gifts book that talk about adding pockets there. So if you already have that book, you have those tutorials already. It's a one size bag, yes. I think I hear footsteps. Yeah, if he's, if he's making footsteps, he's probably not looking to scare me. <laughs> Hi Peggy, thanks for joining live. Yeah, Pamela, you've already got the tutorial for lining and for pockets on bags. So you've already got that with if you've got 80 handmade gifts. Perfect. There's another pattern back here that we haven't talked about in a while. And this is another great gift, quick gift. This is that uh, Chantel necklace that we made with puff stitches or bobbles. So if you wanted to, this one's available on my website now. It's called the Chantel, I think. Jill loves this necklace. Have you made it? Lisa, I think you've made it before too, haven't you? You can make earrings out of this stitch too. Hi, Christy. Yeah, I thought Lisa had made this one before. Thanks, Pamela. Super quick to make too. What do I see for the future of knitting and crochet crafts? I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. Sherry made the necklace in Ice Silver Fox and Moonstone. Wonderful. This is in Be So Fine Yarn in Colorway uh, Sangria. I can show it to you up close. Pamela's going to start the coasters tomorrow. That's great. And I believe she means the Faith Coasters, which is one of the patterns in 52 Crochet Gifts. 
That's great. How many are you going to make? Oh, Joe, I think knitting and crochet will always be around in my opinion too. Yes, I agree. I think it brings way too much peace and um, I think it brings way too much peace to people for it to go away. Uh, I also think that handmade gifts are just so precious. I know that I would never want to stop. Joe's going to make the coasters for gifts for coworkers. Wonderful. Hi, Proverbs. Thanks for joining live. But the question was what I saw for the future of the crafts in general. I don't know how to, I don't know what, um, I, I can't predict what the future holds for the, you know, the industry or the crafts in general, but I can say that they, I think that they're very important. I think handcrafts in general are super important. I think they're important for community. I think they're important for an expression of love. I think they're important for hand-eye coordination. I think they're important for quieting the mind and like meditative state and calming the mind. I think that they're important for lots of reasons which means I will continue promoting them. <laughs> yeah, I think every generation discovers handcrafts too. I agree with that. And I think that they discover it, you know, maybe in different ways and it evolves, but I don't think it goes away. I think it just evolves. Hi, Carly. Thanks for joining live. Yeah, it'd be great if it got more popular than it already is. That would be wonderful. Do I have a great pattern for dishcloths? Yes, I do. In 80 Handmade Gifts, I think I have four or five patterns in there. One of them is knit, and there's three or four knit ones in there. Why don't I grab that book? For anybody that's not familiar with that book, I don't think we've talked about 80 Handmade Gifts in a while. This is a book of mine that you can find on Amazon all over the world. You can find it in ebook version on my website or on Ravelry or I believe on Amazon also. You can also, um, and you can get a, a personal, excuse me, personalized autographed copy of the paperback if you buy it on my website, or you can order it on Amazon Prime paperback all over the world as well, which is cheaper if you live outside of the U.S. In this book, I have organized by different chapters. We have a crochet gifts chapter. We have a food gift chapter. We have a knitting gift chapter and we have um, a miscellaneous chapter. Or so we've got sewing and other crafts in there as well. So we have, whoops, all, all sorts of small projects or we've got food gifts. So I, I've been making food for gifts for years. So I've got some of my granola recipe, my chai spice mix recipe, my spice nuts and my baklava energy balls, my toffee recipe, which I know a lot of you love this and have made it a bunch of times. I have a whole bunch of different types of simple syrup recipes, which are great for making cocktails, mocktails, um, or flavoring desserts, or lemonades, or coffee drinks. I've got some infused oils and vinegars, which are beautiful gifts as well, especially if you go to like Marshall's and find those trivet sets where you get the bottles in the can in the carrying case for both, then you could make both of those. I've got some different cake recipes where you can make a loaf cake, mini muffins, or um, mini loaves too. And you notice that I've also, this is one of the crochet patterns in the book, that's with crochet edging on a bandana, so cute. I have three different kinds of pickled vegetables. The Moroccan carrots is one of my favorites. I learned to make those when I was living in Israel. Got my truffle recipe in here, which 
Those of you who have tried this really love this one a lot too, and it's so easy to make. I've got a delicious homemade cheese log. Let's see what else, cheese crackers, quinoa crackers. The quinoa crackers are super healthy. I've got a probiotic cashew cheese, cocoa mixes, and a bunch of different flavors of that, flavored sugars. Then we have a whole chapter on crochet projects that all include the charts and the written instructions. We've got several bags and some bowls, that napkin with the crochet edging on it, which is really nice for combining um, a handmade food item like one of those beautiful loaf cakes and then wrapping it in the bandana with the crochet edging. So pretty. We've got several earrings and necklaces in the crochet chapter, a couple of shawls, We've got some trivets, and then somebody was asking me about dishcloths. So we have several of those in there. Here, starting with the Lexi, there's one of them. We've got some cowls, We've got some trivets which the trivets are felted, but you could certain, here's another dishcloth or washcloth, a whole bunch of them. And uh, then we have a whole chapter on small projects that are knit, including some bags and some bowls and uh, some jewelry. And then that edging that we did on the, with the crochet edging on a bandana, did the same thing with knit edging on a bandana uh, that's joined right to the bandana. So that would be really pretty for combining um, with a handmade food gift as well. There's uh, another dishcloth that we were talking about, some bowls, jewelry, and then we've got some card gifts. So there's some paper crafts and there are some sewing projects. Here's a fabric box made out of bandanas and that's reversible, there's two different colors. There's an apron in here where you can learn how to make pockets on there. I know we were talking about sewing pockets earlier today. There's this, uh, a jelly roll, which would be great for adding crochet hooks or makeup brushes or coloring pencils or markers. It would be a great combination gift. We've got some lined flat bottom project bags that are for drawstring. And then this reversible tote bag, this is the one that has pockets in it. So this is the one that I was talking about earlier tonight that you could learn if you already have this book at home or if you got this book, there's a great tutorial here for adding pockets to the double-sided bag. We've got some eye pillows here. Those are make a really nice gift. Whole bunch of stuff. And uh, so it's a very, varied type of projects. I mean, there's gifts for anybody in here. There's gifts to give any time of the year, not just holiday, but especially with holiday right around the corner. If you don't already have this book, I highly recommend it. And I'm sure a bunch of people on here who already have this book will agree with me. They love making projects out of this book. And what I really love hearing from everybody is that they didn't stop making projects from this book just when the book came out or just when the first holiday season came around after the book came out. They turned to this book as a reference over and over again because they love the gifts that they make in this book. So if you need something right now for gifts for the holidays, I highly recommend this. We've got food gifts, crochet, knit, and all sorts of sewing and other types of crafts in there as well. Nothing really takes that long to make. Lisa agrees, Anna agrees, Pamela says she loves it. Yes, if you want to see some testimonials, not me speaking about it, but if you want to read some of the comments here, I know lots of people have truly enjoyed not only getting this book, but really using it as a resource to make handmade gifts. So there are 80 handmade gifts in the book and you can check that out. More information about it on my website. There's probably a link in the video description below as well, and you can find where to order it all over the world. Okay, any other questions? That's my favorite part of doing the podcast in my studio sometimes is that if we have an idea, I can just pop over and pick something up so we can <laughs> talk about it. Pamela's made the bread recipes too. Yeah, there's some... Uh, I think there's a lemon blueberry and a raspberry lime and an orange cardamom, all really tasty. Lisa's excited for Black Friday. Me too. 
Can't wait to show you guys all the fun things I've been working on for you behind the scenes. I've been working on Black Friday for oh, at least a month. <laughs> All right, well, I don't see any other questions, and I do have issue seven of Create, Share, Inspire podcast with me tonight. So let's um, let's grab a quote and share it real quick. So this one is from Walter Scott. For success, attitude is equally as important as ability. So true. Uh, I think that your skills or your ability is only part of the battle. You have to be mentally prepared. You need to have a positive attitude. You need to be focused. You need to be organized. And all of that really depends on your attitude because when you're looking at the glass half empty, everything's a challenge and a hurdle and a burden. And when the glass is half full, you have opportunity and hope and you know, that extra energy and that extra oomph that you need to get the things done. Um, so I definitely agree that success, success has just as much, if not more, to do with ability than it does with ab ability. So thank you to Walter Scott. I'll read his quote one more time. For success, attitude is equally as important as ability. And I will add my two cents in there and say, if not more, <laughs> if not more important. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy evening to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed um, Marlon's little joke. Hope you enjoyed my little sneak peeks and chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful evening, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.